your bench system is clearly labeled for your convenience. So we'll start by walking through the different components so you can see where they're at. Here you're going to have both of your power switches for turning the system on and turning the pump on. The chiller indicators of the high limit and the current temperature at which the system's operating at. Up here you'll see that the two lines are clearly marked. The front is line one, the back is line two. Over here we have your back pressure control valves and they're also marked for line one and line two. Over here you'll see the two line switches for line one and line two. Your bypass or brine valve as well as the flow meters. Before starting turning the system on, you'll want to start by making sure all of your lines and as well as your control valves are fully open. So we'll start by turning on line one and line two, making sure your bypass valve is completely open by turning it fully to the left, as well as the back, the back pressure valves by turning to the left, both of them. Before starting operation of your system, you'll want to make sure that all of the valves and the lines are fully open. So to start, we'll turn both lines on. Make sure our valves are completely open by turning the knobs to the left. Then you can turn on the system. You'll want to make sure that you can see both of the valves or both of the readings appear on the chillers before turning the pump on. You can see the readings on the flow meter are both going to be the same. They're currently reading at about 1.0 gallons per minute. The entire system is open, which means you currently have flow running through your bypass as well as through the cells and feeding back into your collection tank in the back. We can set the system parameters by adjusting both the bypass valve as well as the concentrate control valve. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to try setting the system to 300 PSI and we're only going to utilize line 1. So to start, we can begin by turning line 2 off. Immediately, you should see a decrease in, line, in the flow coming through line 2 and an increase in the flow coming through line 1. To start setting the system to 300 PSI, you'll need to slowly begin turning the by closing the bypass valve by turning the knob to the right. We currently have the system fully open, so it may take a couple turns before you achieve this and see the flow begin to increase. It won't happen immediately, so be patient. You will notice the sound of the motor might become louder, and this is an indicator that your flow is starting to increase as the motor is working hard. Once you begin to see the pressure in, or the flow increase in the flow meter, you can start by adjusting the back pressure valve, turning the knob to the right. It will take some fine tuning to keep your, your flow up and increase your pressure.
if you're completely working with the system, you'll want to make sure you turn line one or line two back on before shutting the system completely off. So again, be sure both valves are fully open. Turn line two back on. You'll know it's on when the two flow meters reach equilibrium. And then you can begin to turn off the pump and then power the system off.